Hey guys, it's James here from Family of Four and the Great Outdoors. So what I wanted to do today is a bit of a look at these two self-inflating mattresses. Um, now we've just had three weeks in the tent straight and three weeks camping means three weeks uh, sleeping on camping mattresses. Um, so we've been able to give them a pretty good, uh, pretty good run through. Now this Black Wolf Hexatherm 3D is the one that we typically use as part of our setup and we've just recently bought um, the Zempire Monster Mat King Single. Um, the reason we got that one and not that one was purely because we needed it in a hurry and we couldn't get that one straight away and we could get that one. But I figured it'd give me a good opportunity to then have a, have a look at both of them and uh, let you know what the differences are because I know when I originally bought these ones um, that was certainly one of the questions that I had, which one's better, you know, why would I buy one over the other? So let's have a bit of a look at them in depth. Now, one of the things you'll first see when you first start looking into these things is between the Hexatherm 3D, the Monster Mat, and the Xped one, which I think is the Mega Mat, there isn't a lot of difference on paper. When you look at them, there's practically, they're practically the same mat, apart from a few little tiny things. Um, I won't worry about the XPEG one because obviously I don't have it to test out, but with these two, when you look at it on paper, there's a lot that is, that is similar about them. Suffice to say that the, monster, the Zempire one has a slightly better R value um, if you care about insulation, if you're camping in cold climates, than the Black Wolf one does. This is more of a like a straight memory foam, um, whereas the Hexatherm one is a series of little blocks. They're the same size, they're pretty much the same weight, the valves are exactly the same, their carry bags are uh, a little bit different, I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but they fold up to about the same size, um, so there's really not much in them on paper. Um, they are a little bit different in price, um, so normal price for the Zempire one is about 250 bucks. Um, you can get them for about 230 odd dollars at times, um, and you can get the Black Wolf one here slightly cheaper, about 209 dollars usually. Um, so there is a little bit of a price difference, and because we were buying two of them, um, that's another reason why we went the Hexatherm 3D uh, to start with, so it saved us about 100 bucks. Uh, all up. So before we get out, get them out and have a look at them, um, what I thought I might do is as we unroll them, uh, as a bit of an experiment, I'll just time them to see how long they self inflate. I know for us if we're going to uh, go camping, um, particularly with the boys, we'll often pick them up after preschool. Um, which means that we're usually getting to a campsite probably around dinner time and bedtime. Um, so it is like a, a good thing to know that if you're using a self-inflating mattress, how quickly you need to be able to set up all the beds. So we'll run that experiment now and see how we go. Okay, so after inflating both of them and timing them, they're practically identical. Um, so I had one minute and seven seconds um, for the Monster Mat, one minute and nine seconds um, for the Black Wolf one, but practically you could say that they're identical. It's hard to pick the exact end point where these sort of finish un undoing. So, um, I would say if you, if you had to in a pinch, you'd be pretty good after a minute um, to set up. If you have longer, of course, that's better. They're still gonna um, come up a little bit more, um, particularly at the very ends there where they get sort of scrunched in the most when you, fold, when you roll them up. Um, but yeah, practically a minute and we're good to go. One thing that's worth noting about the two different mats, so I'm not sure if this is a real thing with the Black Wolf one or not, I couldn't find really any information on their website when I, when I looked for it, um, but it's there pretty clearly in the, on the Zempire one in the care instructions, and I'm just gonna read it to you so you know what it says. So basically it says, for best performance, store the mat flat with the valve open, this will maintain the foam's fully expanded potential. This will also allow any moisture trapped in the interior to escape. If your mat must be stored in a rolled state, inflate the mat as frequently as reasonable to prevent the foam from developing a compressed state memory. Now, 
as I said, I don't know if that's the case with the Black Wolf one as well. Um, but that could be a little bit problematic if you're not a regular camper. Um, so if you're buying this to do your once a year camp trip, um, and you've got it rolled up sitting in your roof or your garage or something like that, probably the last thing on your mind every few months or so is going, oh yeah, I should really roll that Zempire mat out so it doesn't develop a compressed memory state in the foam. So whether that's because it's one bit of foam and the Black Wolf is cells, or whether it is the case with this as well and they just haven't mentioned it, um, I thought it was worth uh, pointing out the difference. Briefly, I'll talk about the valves. Um, they are identical on both of them, literally identical. Um, so it's just a screw off cap, um, which helps protect it a bit. And then you've got a valve on the inside here that rotates 360 degrees. Now, for if you get stuck as to which one is which, at least they say inflate and deflate on them. Um, so this one here up the top is inflate mode and it has inflate written all over the yellow part and the white part, so you can see that. Um, if you couldn't read it because it was dark or something like that, um, then the little uh, yellow valve, which you can see easier on the deflate one here, um, that's obviously gonna push out to let air escape and, and suck in against the valve to not let air go back in. So you can sort of think it out a little bit if, um, if you need to. To inflate them, you can just turn them halfway. Um, you can, if you want to, roll it up that way, um, but it's just easier to flick it over to deflate to, uh, to roll it out that way, none of the air's getting back in. Okay, so coming up to the information that you really want to know, okay? What are the differences between the two and what are they like to sleep on? Um, is one really better than the other? So let's go through it. So one of the main differences is in the construction of it. So the Black Wolf one um, is those tiny squares of foam, whereas um, the Zempire one is basically one bit of cord out memory foam. Now, practically speaking, what that means is that straight out of uh, the bag, when you roll it out, the Monster Mat is firmer than the Black Wolf one. So if you like a firmer mattress, that's probably a, a good thing. The Black Wolf one is softer um, out of the bag. However, because you can adjust it really easily because the bag is a pump, it's not hard to just pump it up to the desired firmness that you like. And because of that, you get a lot more flexibility and it's a lot easier to dial in exactly how you like your mattress, whether it's really firm or really soft. It's much easier to get the balance right with the Black Wolf one. You can do it with the Monster Mat, um, but it's a little bit more fiddly. If you want it softer than what it is out of the bag, Practically what it means is you would need to probably lie on it and set the valve to inflate, push the valve in a little bit to let some air out gently till you get the desired uh, firmness that you want and then take your finger off the, the valve so it closes in that one way position. So, and then screw in the, the top. That's probably the best way I think to do it. Um, you can, of course, if you want it really soft, just sleep with the valve in the halfway position, um, and that does make it quite a bit softer, um, but I found it's probably a little bit too soft for me. Um, so as far as uh, adjustability, really the Black Wolf does have it. If you are really uh, concerned about the insulation value, if you're doing a lot of camping in really cold environments, or maybe you're using this in a rooftop tent or something like that, where it's reasonable that you get quite a lot of cold air underneath where you're lying, then maybe the Zempire is a good option for you because the R value is higher. Um, but overall, what do they like to sleep on? They're both pretty comfy. So we've had this as part of our sleep setup for quite a long time. This one is a newer addition, but I've spent a, a fair bit of time um, gearing up for this video just to see what it's like. And both of them are comfy. Um, it's just the firmness that is a little bit different. So which one would I go for and which one do I think is better? Um, really, I'm quite happy with the Black Wolf. 
Um, and I think if I was going to buy our sleep setup again, I would stick with the Black Wolf ones probably over the Zenfire ones. And the reason for that uh, is partly the price. Uh, when you're talking about up to maybe $50, $40, $30 difference, if you're having to buy multiple of them, if you're buying them for a couple of kids as well as yourself, um, then that money really adds up. Um, and you might find that for the equivalent cost, you might end up getting all the mattresses you need plus a sleeping bag or something like that. So it could really add up if you're buying multiple of them. I like that it comes with an inbuilt pump. Um, that's another real bonus for that. Uh, and practically speaking, otherwise they're pretty much the same. So really if it came down to what I would buy again, I think the Black Wolf one probably has it for my money. Um, but you might think differently and that's alright. So if there's anything that I missed in this that you want to know, hit up with the comments. But I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, it's probably some of the information that I really would have liked when I was buying them. So hopefully you uh, found that helpful. So yeah, like, comment and subscribe, that would really help us out and I look forward to seeing you in the next, in the next video. Thanks guys.